Good afternoon. I want to welcome you. Today is January the 30th, 2022. Oh my goodness, you guys. Just going to wait a moment for a couple of people to pop on. Hi, Pat. Welcome. How you doing? Hi, Stella. Thank you for sharing, Pat. Okay. See some weird messages going across my phone there. Hope you all are doing fine this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Hey, Terry. Thank you. I actually cut it Tuesday. I had to. I got tired of, I got tired of pulling it up and putting it in a ponytail. And, um. It seems to be, I don't know, I guess it gave it a little bit more volume than what I've been experiencing because my hair seems to be thinning out a lot. Not to mention, not to mention, look, look at that, y'all, the gray hairs. There's one poking up right there. Y'all see that? I'm not going to pull it. I'm just trying to, what do we do when the, when it was our kids and they were, Are y'all trying to get upstairs? Okay, because I'm live right now. Never fails. Every Sunday, 3 p.m., something happens when I go live. Hey, Roberta. Hi, Bonnie. I'm going to make sure I'm... I was on to something a while ago. So, remember when we have kids and... Um, hey, Cindy. And Cindy McDonald. I think those are two different Cindys. But y'all see that? Y'all see that? What do we do when we have kids and their hair sticking up, you just kind of <laughs> get it wet and make it go down. I didn't put any hairspray in it, so now I've got this one white hair that is like gone rogue on me here in the front. So <laughs> there's a Cindy McDonald watching and then Cindy from Virginia. Welcome everyone. So glad you're spending a little bit of your Sunday afternoon with me. Um, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Barbara Ragsdale, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that lives in the San Antonio, Texas area. So if you are here for the first time, welcome. You're in good company with chat, and I hope you get some inspiration today for what I've got to show you. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I know um, there's been a lot of, I got a lot of names, y'all, on this wheel. So if you did not watch last week's video with when I did, um, see I have my piece of framed art over here. When I did this last week, there was a lot of names on the wheel. There was a lot of shares, a lot of names. We're going to be giving that away. I've got it right here. I went ahead and matted it on a piece of uh, thick basic white cardstock. It doesn't come with the frame, but there's the prize right there. Got my wheel ready, and um, we'll go ahead and get started with just a few announcements. Um, if I forget to say anything, because that, that happens, 
Just always check the details. Um, usually it takes me a little bit to update the description of the video with all of the links after the video is over. That will tell you everything that's kind of current going on. Um, as always, you can always check out my events calendar on my Stampin' Up! website. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, Cindy. Those have more details to some things that I might be listing, just links on the video here itself, whether it's upcoming retreats, any classes, events. We are coming up uh, tomorrow. No, a couple of days. It'll be February 1st. So next Sunday will be a whole nother uh, monthly online ordering kit. We still have a little bit of time for January. Got a couple of days to take advantage of that free kit in the mail. Um, and then also, like I said, if there's any retreats coming up, the to go for spring, there's a lot of details on that. In fact, you can go to the events section right now here on Facebook and look at those two different events. They are two separate events. The spring inter retreat is the one that has only to go available and the stamp into summer is the one that there's availability for in person as well as to go. The details for the summer retreat, the prices are there. I just have to plug in the product information and the only reason that there's not anything there is because in June by June we'll already have a new catalog an annual catalog and so the summer retreat is going to be based off of new product so bear with me you guys my lips are dry it's just the bottom one but I have my holiday cocoa chapstick. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Um, don't forget, if you see any products that you want to purchase, you can um, purchase them straight from my website. Right now, we do have celebration going on, so that means that if your order is at least $50 or more, you get to take advantage of getting something for free out of the celebration brochure. And if you don't have a celebration brochure or any of the catalogs, the current catalogs, let me know. I'll send you a complimentary copy, and then also when you sign up for my email list, you automatically get a complimentary copy sent to you. Um, as long as you answer that question in the little uh, survey that you need the catalogs and which ones you might need um, and if you're an active demonstrator you're welcome to sign up as well too I have a different special gift for you and then as always I have my retired merchandise site that is um, adding I've been adding just a couple of things lately and updating some inventory um, items and so you can always take advantage of my BOGO which is buy one get one free or if you are looking for product for maybe a customer if you're a demonstrator um, you can simply purchase that um, straight off the website without having to participate in BOGO so and that's all about it right now um, I want to get this camera pointed down I'm gonna go ahead and turn this my heater off so let me make sure I haven't missed anybody that warm air was starting to dry my eyes out too and I'm already having issues with dry eyes all right so we are live right now I think the live is over here in this one I don't know I I get turned around so much that I can't, I don't know. There's a live in one of these corners. If you don't see the live, you're probably watching me off the replay. 
And if you're watching me off YouTube, thank you so much for watching me on YouTube and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, you can stamp that red subscription button and turn on your notifications. That way you know when I upload a video and when I eventually start going live from YouTube because that's still in the works as well. So let's go ahead and get this camera pointed down so that we can do a drawing and give this away. Hi, Martha. All right, let's, let's flip this around and get, let's get started on what we're gonna do today. Let me pull this down a little bit. Move this over here. Told you there was a lot of names on this wheel, you guys. Oops, move my light. Chris is in there sneezing, so we may continue to hear him sneeze. <laughs> He's still sneezing. <laughs> I generally wait um, till after he sneezed about six times before I send him a text to say, God bless you. <laughs> because he's never just a one sneeze kind of person. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Martha. See, he's still sneezing. <laughs> Y'all would have heard him if I wasn't laughing, but he's still sneezing. <laughs> I don't think he's done, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I know it feels good to get a good sneeze out, so. All right, let me take a drink of my tea. Hopefully that'll help me get through alive without my voice drying out on me. Whew, all right, you guys. Let's give away last week's uh, little prize. All right, who wants to win? This, uh, I measured it. Let me make sure. I want to say this was an eight by eight. Eight, yeah. Yeah, you need an eight by eight frame in order to to frame this and of course it looks really really nice in this kind of weathered uh, grayish brown frame but there it is all right now for anybody that's here the first time Every single week I give away prizes and you can also get on the wheel. Um, there are a couple of names from Cindy. I added you from uh, Cindy from Virginia. I added you from YouTube. So you're on here. And then there's another lady. I can't remember her name from YouTube that shared and her. She's on here as well. I think her name was Laura. She's on here as well. So good luck to everybody and uh, oh i didn't finish my thought there when you like comment and share that's what gets you onto the wheel but when you share you actually get an extra entry so when you're watching the videos there's a share button you click that share button share it with your friends and family on your your own personal timelines and then come back and in the comments if you're new, you might see people typing shared in the comments, and that's because they've shared the video and they're just coming back so that they can let me know they've shared the video and I can give them that extra credit onto the wheel for sharing my video. So I appreciate all the shares and let's, let's do this drawing. Let's turn this up, turn it up. There we go. <gasps> Who's gonna win? Oh, that was really close. It was a tie between the Cathy's, but Kathy Pierce is the winner. Hi, Denise, welcome. Kathy Pierce. I don't think you have won before, so I uh, didn't see your name watching right now. But Kathy, if you are watching the replay or if you happen to come on and wonder why people are congratulating you, <laughs> it's because you won last week's little project. So congratulations, Kathy. Um, 
like I said, I don't think you've won before. So if you're watching the replay, private message me just your mailing address so that I can send your prize to you. Awesome. I love it when a when I see a new name win. I love it when anybody wins, really. I don't know why I'm still looking at this. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay, so really, really quick, I ended up putting together, for those of you that um, I did get my box the day after, so last Sunday after I did that, I did get my my new paper pumpkin, the latest paper pumpkin, which is the Kisses and Hugs. And I literally went ahead and just threw together the whole, the whole kitten caboodle. Hey, Mary Ann. I went ahead and made them all. So I wanted to show you what this kit looked like because today we're actually going to be talking about a different kit. It's a new one. It's our latest new kit, but this is what the Kisses and Hugs kit will get you. Well, I have to backtrack a little bit because y'all know Paper Pumpkin Deadlines are the 10th. Basically, it's the 10th of every month. And so, if you do not subscribe to Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of every month, you're not going to get the following month's kit. So you can't get this kit anymore. You can though, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can still get the refill kit. And then you can also get the mini treat boxes. Okay, um, I only put one of them together. I put one of them together. Look, they're so cute. I didn't stamp anything on it, but that package does make 20 of these. And these measure one and three quarters by basically one and three quarters by one and three quarters all the way around. It's a pretty square box. And comes with an entire spool of this gold cord and all the little heart punch outs and all these little boxes that are so super easy to put together. But this is the add-on kit that came with, it doesn't come with it, it's sold separately, but it was the add-on kit piece of paper that was inside the Hugs and Kisses paper pumpkin kit. But these are the cards, there was five of each, five of those, and look, the hearts, they're like made out of hearts. And then this was the second one so you got five of each, and then the envelopes, I actually stamped XOXO on there because it comes with a stamp set, just like all paper pumpkin kits. But look at the inside, look, it's so pretty. That's the inside of the envelope. It's got that gold XOXO, so there's your envelopes right there. And then you just address it and mail it and somebody gets a pretty little valentine. But that's what the kit did. Now every single month the kits are different, okay? So I don't have my little printout. I thought I had my printout right here. And you know what? I probably do. Let me move a couple of things around. For next month's kit... I don't even remember what next month's kit, the name of it is. I just remember it had, it had a bunch of zoo animals on it. I can't think of the name of that one. Um, but anyway, this is, I went ahead and just put the kit together instead of doing a separate video for that. So if you don't want to miss out on future paper pumpkin kits, you definitely want to subscribe or don't do anything with your subscription if you're already active. Let me put all this aside. And then let me just show you everything else that came with it. It had these adhesive back sequins. There was a small sheet of small dimensionals. There's a sheet of glue dots. I didn't use any of them. I just used the dimensionals. You're always gonna have 
a, let me get a piece of white paper here so I can put this on the back. You're always going to have an exclusive stamp set that you're only going to find with that particular month's paper pumpkin kit. You will also get, with your first kit, you'll get a paper pumpkin block. It's a D-sized block, so all of your stamps that you get every single month, you'll be able to use your acrylic block over and over and over. These stamps will never be bigger than this block, so you'll want to hold on to your block. And then you're also going to get a Stampin' Spot. Now for me, I didn't want to open this small Stampin' Spot. I went ahead and used my large one because I wasn't doing the demonstration. But you can see the difference. There's a pretty significant size difference between the ink spot that comes with the kit versus our full size. But you can always, I don't have any out right in front of me, but they are, they're roughly this size right here, our, our ink refills. This is the refill to stays on. So, but you can use these over and over and over and over and over. Just, you know, continue to re-ink them. Just like you can continue to build your stamp collection with the new stamps you get every single month. And then there'll also be a new color every month. So this is a very economical way to also build your ink collection as well until you can either upgrade well, until you can upgrade to the larger ones if you want to do that. And if you do that, I would always recommend probably starting out with basic colors and then working your way up. But with paper pumpkin kits, you're always going to get an ink spot, which is nice. Okay, so let me put all this aside. And then let's bring out what we are going to be doing today. I left it still in the box. So we're going to be opening it from basically from scratch. I just kind of broke the, the plastic just to get it going. So hi, Heather. Let me catch up here. Hey, Jessica. Yes, it's been a while. My, my prima from Ohio. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Mary Ze Zebula. I haven't seen your name before. Welcome. All right. Yeah, Martha, Martha loves paper pumpkins. So we're just going to pull this off. But before I pull it off, this is one of the latest kits that Stampin' Up! has to offer. This one is called Light the Candles Card Kit. So this is part of the kits collection, but it's not paper pumpkin. And I had a flyer right here okay so we do have a flyer about our kits and this basically tells you about all the kits that are available through Stampin' Up! there's kits that you can stamp with and there's kits that don't require any stamping there are price differences I don't know why I keep hitting that let me move that bring this light in a little bit more Anyway, so there's kits that stamp and there's kits that you don't require any stamping. You just, it's basically just assembly. Now with Paper Pumpkin, so the, uh, the hearts and kisses that I showed you a while ago, with prepaid subscriptions, you can get them in one month, three months, six month, or 12 month, or you can go month to month. For 22 bucks, even if you went month to month, for 22 bucks, that is an awesome deal to get a new kit every single month, and that includes shipping direct to your door with a new project every single month. They can be cards, they can be other little projects. It it, it just varies. That's what I like about it. You, we we kind of get an idea, and we can share with you kind of a, a sneak peek of what's to come the next month. But every single month, it's going to be something different. Now, you do save when you are on prepaid subscriptions. It goes down a dollar. But right now, through celebration, the, with the three-month, six-month, and 12-month, this is where you can start earning some celebration rewards, too. So just for an example, right now, 
if you purchased a three month prepaid subscription, it's $63. Well, because it's more than 50, that gets you the opportunity, let me pull my brochure out, to choose something from the celebration brochure absolutely free. And there's a lot of nice stamp sets and designer series paper and things that coordinate with products in our mini catalog. Try to grab onto this paper here. There we go. Catching butterflies. Lots. I mean, I've, I've even played with some of this stuff in past demonstration videos with you. Lots and lots and lots of different things to choose from. With a six-month, that's 114 that allows you to pick two $50 items or one of the $100 level items that's in the celebration brochure. And then with the 12 month, you can choose four, but because it's 150 or more, you also will get hostess reward benefits as well. So you wanna think about that. These kits are awesome when it comes to having pre-planned, coordinating items, products. I'm just pulling everything out here. There is our ink spot that comes with this particular kit. This one is Coastal Cabana. Now I'm not gonna be opening that one. I'm just gonna use my, uh, my full size Coastal Cabana. But this kit, if I can get it out, it's packaged pretty much almost just like a paper pumpkin kit. If it has an ink spot in it and a block, this is a stamping kit. If it doesn't, you're not going to you're not going to have a stamp set. You're not going to have an ink block. You're not an uh, ink spot. You're not going to have any of this other stuff. You're just going to have this paper product in order to put together. Now let me put this box aside and let's get this open. I'm not going to open that, but this is our stamp. By the way, this kit is a happy birthday kit. So if you're looking for some quick cards, some quick duplicatable cards. This might be the kit for you. And let me get this off. There we go. What do we got going on here? We got some embellishments. There's our acrylic block. Ooh, look at that. Those look fun. We got these envelopes where there's, the inside is already pre-printed. We've got, I'm trying to separate these. You've got the pieces. You've got these die cut pieces. Those are already die cut for you. There's another sheet that kind of looks like that. And then if I had to guess that one goes with that one and that one goes with that one. And then your bases. There's four bases that look like that. They're already pre-scored for you, just like with paper pumpkin kits. You have these little die cuts that you'll be stamping on. Here's another four card bases. Then you have more die cuts to stamp on. Those make it so easy for you, you just punch them out. There's another sheet of glue dots, which I'm just gonna use my own glue dots because I have a problem taking the little backs off of those. And then you have some adhesive strips, some actual adhesive strips. Now these are the, the kind that if you, um, they're literally like our large adhesive strips except they're on a smaller scale as far as the, the length. And then your backing, which I save these and then your instructions on how to put everything together, just like our paper pumpkin kits. You're gonna have step-by-step -step instructions. You can see those pretty easy instructions. And along the edge of this entire sheet, you have, well, it starts about right here. So from here to this end, you have inches. And then from here to here, that's probably centimeters. I don't see any other ones. Make sure they didn't change this up on us. So let's, I'm gonna put together one of each and then just know that this entire kit makes eight 
cards, eight birthday cards. Okay, so let's do this. Let me get my, let me get my Coastal Cabana, my large one. Let me get my large one there. So quiet. Meaning here at the house, it's quiet. It's kind of a rare occasion. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started with, let's do, let's do this one first. I'm going to pull the pieces that we need. Let me set that aside. These are already die cut for you. All you have to do is literally just pull them out. So we need one of those. And we need one of these round ones. And then... Let me move these off to the side and just get what I need. Let me peel this off. That way we can use those. And this one is going to say, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, which is this one right here. I love that these are photopolymer. They just stick right to your acrylic block. And then you'll ink them up, use it, and then when you need to switch them out, you just get your chamois, clean them off, and then stick them back on this part here. And it already has a pre-printed of the stamp on there so that you can see exactly where it has to go back and if you are missing any. And then let me go ahead and get these out. That way they're ready. And we are using this, whew, this really bright base. What color is this? Daffodil Delight. Daffodil Delight. I told you they were scored in the middle, and they are. Now, with these kits, just like with Paper Pumpkin, there's very few, if any, other supplies that you need. Um, if you don't have, why well, that was sticking on there, if you don't have a bone folder, you can always use your acrylic block. Um, it was already pre scored for you. You can use the edge of your block to just burnish that edge. That way you get a nice crease and it helps it fold down. Or if you have a bone folder, you can also use your bone folder to get that edge down, okay? And then we've got, we're gonna be stamping on this little bitty piece right there. And I wanna get my foam mat. My surface is a hard surface. I mean, it's hard and it's flat, but when you're working with photopolymer, especially if you don't have a hard, flat surface underneath, you want to use a foam mat. And this one is the, stamp, the Stamparatus foam mat. And we're going to be stamping on that one in Coastal Cabana. Get that right there. Happy birthday to you. Just tap, tap, tap. And I... Thought I'd put my finger in it, but I didn't. Okay, and oh look, you can see exactly where you're going to be stamping. I love it. And then I'll just pop off right there. Okay, let me close that up because that's the only that's the only stamping part that we have for that one. Okay, now on the edge of the little pop outs. If you, if they bother you, these little bitty white tags where it came off of the die cut, you can just take your paper snips and lightly go over that just to take those off. That way it doesn't look like it's, you know, off of a little punch out. They're very small and very minor, but that gives you a really pretty seamless little edge there. And the same thing with this darker one right here, because I can see those. I mean, it's not like a showstopper or anything. You might be able just to shave that off with your, with the edge of your snips without cutting it. But those little things kind of can look a little bothersome, especially if it's a big piece that came off. I would just recommend taking them off with your paper snips the best, best way you can without 
messing up your little die cut there. Okay, all right, so on the instructions, let's take a look at the instructions. They're putting, let's bring this back over here. And I don't, I don't need that anymore. Don't need that right now. What is missing here? On their picture, they did it. I'm gonna wing it with this one, you guys. It just lines up. Hmm. Oh, it just lines up. Okay. Well, I think that's where the. Uh, uh, where'd they go? Oh, it's right here. My adhesive strips. These work the same way, just like dimensionals, basically. Just gives you a little extra dimension, but it covers a longer little area. I'm just gonna put, I mean, if you wanted to save these for something else, you could. And I'm gonna put this on the bottom and the top as well, but I'm just gonna use half. I don't think it really needs all of that Long one. These do come in handy though. Long ones like this. That's not a die cut. Okay, I didn't think so. I probably should put adhesive on the back. No, I better not. Is that going on the front? I'm telling y'all, I'm winging this. It looks like it does go on the front. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Let's try to line that up directly over that one. Oh, come on. All right, why is my all right, then we'll use glue. I don't know why it's, my seal didn't want to come out. Let's do that number. We're gonna get it on there somehow, you guys. Stick that in the middle. Stick that low. And then we're gonna put this piece. Oh, come on. All right. Seal is not my buddy today. But we know we can always rely on our glue. I'll put that right there. And then I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of this. And then we're gonna put that in the center. Give that just a little bit of pressure. It's gonna move on you because it's glue. So you wanna make sure you got it in, in the right spot and then just give it a little pressure down. And then let's see what else, what else goes on there. Oh, I forgot to do something. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. This is what happens when you don't look at the instructions. There was this little, this little stamp right here that had this, um, I'm gonna see if I can fix it, that had these uh, little splatters on the side. I don't recommend doing this afterwards, so just pretend like I did this from like the beginning, okay? And we'll be good. We'll be good. 
And I think that's it. I want to do another one right here. I'm looking for, oh, they put one in the middle. I knew there had to be something. There we go. This little thing right here. Let's take one of those. Little gold adhesive backed little gems. Put one in the center of that little flame there. And I don't see, I don't see. Let me take a look at the directions. Okay, there's only one of them on there. So I double checked on the directions part. So that was the first card. I made that harder than what it looked like because, you know, I just did. But that is the envelope that coordinates with it. And you could totally decorate even the front of the envelope if you wanted to stamp something on there. But there is quite easily card number Card number one, that was so easy, wasn't it? I didn't have to make it as hard as it was, <laughs> but that was super easy. So keep in mind, you also can make three more of these exact same cards. So that was easy. See, that just shows you how easy the kits are. Now let's do the other one. We've got, we've got this, ooh, this is pretty. We've got that base, we have that envelope, we have this one, that one, we have one of these longer die cuts, we have one of these small ones. A couple of stamping things here, and then what else? One of these larger white ones. What's left? That is, that looks like it's it. Okay, so let's get our stamping out of the way. We're gonna be stamping on that piece, and we're gonna be stamping on that piece. bring that back. That one looks pretty good except this end right here. And then that one looks pretty good. Okay, so on this one, let me take that off. We're going to be stamping Hip Hip Hooray. Oops, didn't mean to throw that over there. This one says hip hip hooray, today's your day, but I think I wanna put, no, I'll leave, it. I'll leave it the same. Cause I like happy, happy birthday, but I don't wanna fool with the bottom sentiment. So we'll just do hip hip hooray, just like the, just like the, uh, the picture. Okay, so we're gonna peel that off. Now when it doesn't fit long ways, just turn it sideways, okay? So it still fits and it's photopolymer so it'll still make it easy for stamping you just want to try to get it on there as straight as you can let's open this up let's ink that up tap 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 get that even on there let's stamp directly on there, give it just a little bit of pressure. Pull that off. I'm just peeling that off instead of cleaning it real quick. And then what does the other one say? Today's your day. Peel that one off. That one on there. And we're gonna stamp that on this little, oops, let me stri straighten that one out. Straighten. There we go. Pop that off. And that's 
all the stamping on that one. Okay, so there's our card base. Let me burnish that edge there. We're going to put that on that. That one looks like it's up as well. So we're going to use our adhesive strips to help pop that up. A lot of times with these card kits, let me pull that up a little bit more, you have a few extra pieces of random, whether it's die cuts or something else in order to help if you, you know, make a boo-boo of some kind. I'm not looking at the instructions, so I don't even know if that piece goes there, but I know you want to pop that up. You peel those off. Like I said, they're just like dimensionals. And I think, honestly, for little pieces like that, Mine. I'm just going to break a couple of my other dimensionals out to put, oops, I don't have a small one, let me cut this one, cut that one in half and put that one right there. That was me doing that, not part of the instructions. Okay, now let's line that up over. There we go. And because seal is not my friend today, we're just gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this. It looks like you could do this either way. You could put this directly down and then put your dimensionals on the back to pop it up off your base. But this card does go this way, by the way. Let's turn it that way. Go. Get that in the middle. In the middle. Give it a little, little bit of pressure. And clean that up. I guess it would help if I got that half dimensional off of there. That'll work. Let me mat this on top of this piece of, it looks like night and navy. It doesn't look light enough to be misty moonlight. Let's see. Yeah, it's night and navy. Okay, and we're going to put this one on top of That one right there. And then the smaller one. Let's get some adhesive on the back of that one. Come on. I don't want to squeeze it too hard. It's a new bottle. Put that one there. Give that just a little bit of pressure. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and use glue. Ooh, that came out a lot. Spread that out. Okay, and we're going to put this one over the middle. Just give it a little pressure. And then these accessories, one of them goes, oops, 
Come on. One of them goes in the center of each one of those. Let me see if I can use, oh, that one kind of looks grody. I was going to use the other end of my take your pick tool, but I think it needs to be changed out. The little adhesive part on that side. So I'll just use my small, the small end here. Thank you all for joining me today. Just wanted to show y'all the new birthday kit. Of course, you know, there's other sentiments that are on here. So if you wanted it to say happy birthday on all of them. And these are, you know, these are so easy. I don't know why I made it so hard on that first one. Just give that a little pressure on each one of them there. And then let me make sure, let me look at this again. Let's see. I don't think I'm missing anything. But these kits, you guys, really are the way to go. You know, everything's already coordinated for you. You have everything you need to put the kits together. Fun projects every single month. Different projects. They come shipped directly to your door. They're portable. They have their own little box. So if you're going somewhere, um, if you're having to wait for a friend or a relative or somebody, you know, at the doctor's office or the hospital, if you travel, these kits are great gifts for, you know, your, your younger children that are crafty. Gives them something every single month, something different to do. You build your stamp collection. You build your ink color co collection. You have something new and fresh every single month. You can't beat it for $21 or $22. And that includes shipping, by the way. So, And then don't forget, my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, not for the kits, but for Paper Pumpkin, every single month you get free coordinating cardstock cuts just as a thank you for being one of my subscribers. So um, the link will also be in the description after the video so make sure you check out the link for any other items and events that are going on and i am starting my arms are starting to itch so i need to wrap this up and go take something for that so whew. let's see thank you carol let me put those up a little bit thank you cindy Thank you all for joining me this Sunday afternoon. I'll be back Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. We actually do have a new scrapbook page layout to start. So if you are into scrapbooking or want to learn how to use your Stampin' Up! supplies for your scrapbook page layouts, I invite you to join me back Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So other than that, thank you all. Have a blessed rest of your Sunday afternoon, and happy stampin'. Bye.